What's up guys, Red Recon here. Today I have an awesome settlement decorating guide for you guys. I hope you guys really get a lot out of this. I work pretty hard on this. If you couldn't tell, this is the lobby of my Kingsport Lighthouse build. It's supposed to be sort of a hotel, but anyways, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to decorate very advancedly, how to keep everything looking nice, the colors looking great, and just organizing your settlement's furniture a lot better, making them look cooler so you can enjoy the game more. But anyways, we're gonna get right into it. So what you're gonna wanna do in this corner kind of, I have like a magazine rack. I always add those in, just they add kind of like a, I guess pre-war feel. They give you a lot of space. And I always add like a little side chair next to that. I always like to li add little like chairs and stuff everywhere just for people to sit down making it look cozier. And that's when you get that. Then you can fill those up with magazines later if you need. I'm putting a big armchair here for people just to sit down and it, you can put anything on the shelf up above. I think you, you can usually put like smaller items like maybe, I don't know, alarm clock, stuff like that. Anyways, you want to add a big rug to flush out kind of everything. And that adds a little nice color consistency between the couch and the carpet, I guess. And then I put this little arm, like the little chair there um, for kind of looks, I guess. And a little radio there. I always put stuff on my tables in order to make it look more uh, useful. And there's a reason for it being there. Because if you weren't going to have anything, why even have a table? What you're going to want to do next is add plants everywhere. Because I think the palm tree ones are the best. Because they add a lot of leaves everywhere. It makes it look a lot roomier and stuff like that. But you can choose. The other ones are dead and stuff and I don't like that, but there's also these cool signs you can add on your walls. It kind of makes it seem a bit more pre-war. All this stuff from before the war, I like that they added that stuff in. I'm not going to be doing the upstairs of the hotel part today because you just basically add beds up there and little like nightstands and stuff like that. For the kind of sitting area, you want to add couches two couches on the sides and I usually just leave it open so you can walk in. I also have the jukebox there for anyone who wants to listen to the jukebox while sitting in this kind of seating area or living room, whatever you want to call it. Also a little table there in case you want to place like a clock or a lamp or anything there. But that's kind of optional. You could add a plant there, anything like that. And this is basically what you want to keep on doing, adding furniture. You want to keep adding a bunch of plants everywhere to make it look more green. And as you can see, I use a variation of colors everywhere to make it, I know, I guess flow a bit more. If you were just having all red, all brown, all stuff like that, I got blues, I got reds, I got browns, all that kind of stuff. And I'm adding a TV up here so that it kind of makes it seem a bit more, I guess, like a bar. And there's other people to sit there and watch it. And I add those, those stools so you can sit there. And basically, guys, that's what I built. If you have any more questions, leave it down in the comments. I could make another video at another location. I'm happy to do that at any time, but I'd like to see what you guys thought of this video today. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video.